Hi there, welcome to episode 05, Setting up the collision. To use the Raspberry as a collision object, we need to set it as a collision source in the geometry context and then import it into the dynamic context. Go to the Raspberry object, click on the output port of the out node, drag, press tab, type collision source and press enter. This node gives us two outputs, a geometry output and a VDB output. Let's add two nulls to these outputs and rename them as Geo and BDB. Ok, the Raspberry is ready as a collision source to be used in the dynamic context. Let's go back to the dynamic context. To import the collision object, we need a static object. Press Tab, type static object and press enter twice. To connect this node, we need a merge node after the solver. Press Tab, type merge and press enter twice. Place the merge node after the solver and connect the static object to the merge node. In the merge node, we need to swap the connections because in the dynamic context, the effects are calculated from left to right. So, in the merge node, in the input operations, click on the static object one arrow. Now, in the static object, in the subpath, search for the geo node in the Raspberry object. As we are going to animate the object, we need to enable the Use Deforming Geometry checkbox. Now, we need to set up the collision volume. Go to the collision tab. Disable the Display Geometry checkbox and enable the Collision Guide checkbox. Change the mod to Volume Sample. The Division method to By Size. And in the proxy volume, search for the VDB node in the Raspberry object. Let's check in the viewport. Press W to change to shaded mode. Increase the offset surface a tiny bit to 0.004. The division size parameter should be linked to the voxel size parameter in the collision source node. Let's do it. Right click on the division size parameter and select copy parameter. Go to the collision source node in the Raspberry object. Right click on the voxel size parameter and then select paste relative references. Ok, the parameters are linked. Let's go back to the dynamic context. Change the division size to 0.05. For the final simulation, we will use 0.025, which gives a better resolution for the collision volume. But for now, for testing, leave the value at 0.05. Check Display Geometry and check Collision Guide. In the viewport, press the spacebar and H to frame the content. Play the simulation. Ok, we have something, but of course, the Raspberry needs to be relocated and animated. Let's relocate the Raspberry. Go to the Raspberry object. Change the visibility option to show all objects to see the fluid particles. But if we animate the Raspberry, we will lose our cache. To avoid this, click on the icon to disable the calculations. Press Tab, type Trans and press Enter twice. Drag and insert the node before the Out node. Go to frame 40 and relocate the Raspberry 
using the handles in the viewport or entering values in the parameters minus 3.1 for x minus 1.5 for y and 6.1 for z press alt and left click on the translate parameter to set a keyframe at frame 40 set the x rotation to 50 degrees and the z rotation to 30 degrees for the y rotation let's type an expression dollar f multiplied by 0 0.5 now go to the last frame 120 and change the translation to minus 2.3 for x minus 0 0.3 for y and 5.1 for z then press alt and left click to set a keyframe if you play the animation we can see no translation before frame 40 we don't need it as we'll be using only the slow motion part but in case you need it you can go to the animation editor and extrapolate the movement in the animation editor press F to frame the curves on the channel list select translate X, Y and Z right click select channels then extrapolation and finally a slope let's also select all the curves and press the stride button to have a linear slope return to the scene view and play the animation now we have motion since the initial frame in the visibility control change to hide other objects now go to the dynamic context to see the interaction with the fluid let's also enable the simulation calculations zoom in the viewport play the simulation well I think we need to adjust the final position of the raspberry to get a better collision go to the raspberry object now in the timeline go to the last frame and in the transform node decrease the y position to minus 1.3 in the animation editor select the y curve and press the straight button to have a linear slope and just for the x curve let's increase the speed at the beginning and slow the speed at the end okay go back to the scene view return to the dynamic context and play the simulation now we have a better interaction let's look at it from another angle again play the simulation to get a better resolution first go to the object level and in the simulation tab increase the substeps to 2 return to the dynamic context and select the static object and decrease the division size from 0 0.05 to 0 0.025 now select the flip object and increase the resolution by decreasing the particle separation from 0 0.05 to 0 0.025 let's render a flipbook to see the result press and hold on the flipbook button and select flipbook with new settings the frame range is ok so leave the default parameters and press the start button ok the flipbook is ready it took about 6 minutes to render play the animation the fluid is too splashy and 
we need a viscous slow motion look. To achieve the required look for the milk splash, we need to add two important properties, viscosity and surface tension. We will do this in the next video. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you soon in the next one.